Days before the 2020 general election, Google says change my vote has become a trending search all over the country, especially in battleground states like Pennsylvania, Ohio and Florida. Undecided voters are beginning to feel the pressure. But as News 13's Emily McLeod tells us, elections officials here say there's not much you can do once you vote. After record high early voting numbers, some voters may be having second thoughts about their decision and want to change their ballots. I've heard of states that actually allow that, but Florida is not one of them. Uh, once you submit your ballot, it's considered cast um, and it stays with us. It's counted and we move forward. Anderson says you cannot change your mind after you vote in Florida and says allowing people to change their ballot could cause logistical issues. Which one do you count? When did it come in? Which one was first? Which one was second? While some voters feel like they should be able to change their mind, other voters say it gives them confidence knowing they have to stick to their one ballot. You make a slight mistake and you feel like, you know, you know what? I didn't do my research on this candidate before I voted for him. And now that I know a little bit more, I would like to change my vote. I think everyone should be allowed one. But I personally think, you know, once you once you make a decision to cast your vote legally, that it should be binding. Bay County resident Gloria Thompson is weighing her options before she casts her ballot. And this should also be a lesson for people who haven't voted to really consider which way they want to go. There's some things we like about both presidents and some things that we don't. In Bay County, Emily McLeod, News 13, Panhandle Strong.